Today I have this uh, board four by 10 and I'm starting by applying Wise Owl white primer with a Gen Foam brush all over the board. Now, if I knew I wasn't using white, I would not have added the primer, but I knew I was using white and I didn't want the knots to bleed through. So now I'm taking my S50 Klingon and some Snow Owl and I'm applying it to the entire board. Now, just using a random box that I had, I took a chalk pencil and traced the sides and then hand sketched in the corners because I wanted them to be more rounded. So I kind of wanted an oval shape. What I like about the chalk pencils is you can easily remove it with an eraser or the paint does cover it. It's not going to bleed th back through the paint. So using some Wise Owl Black and an art brush, I'm going to start by uh, going over and tracing out my lines that I created. Now for just random crafts, nothing serious, I do get my art brushes at Dollar General. They come in a pack and I actually really like the way the paint goes on with them. I think they're about $3 and I think you get about four in a pack. I do like the fatter ones that come in the pack, but um, I do pick up cheaper brushes there if I'm just doing um, easy touch-ups like this. Now I am using uh, the Wise Owl black and covering the remainder of the board. Now I'm going to use some random items here today. Uh, I do find that eggs, this is uh, an egg puzzle type thing that I got at Dollar General for $2 around Easter and I'm using them to create feet. Wooden eggs are a great item to make feet, especially like bunny rabbit feet and things like that. So that's what I'm using. I have my S30 if anybody wanted to check out the size. This is a nice craft Klingon brush. It's the smaller with a short handle. That's what I like about it. And you notice I put a little water in my paint. I know somebody did ask that yesterday. And just misting your chalk paint with a little water just gives it movement. You know, you don't want too much. And it really does not thin it out a whole lot. And anytime you do a second coat, you can always add a little bit more water. Save on paint. So once I painted in these shapes, I gave everything a good sanding. And I had these really uh, big dabbers. I had a bag full of random sizes and I had ones that were quite large and I'm taking some black paint on the large dabber and then I took the smaller dabber and made the toes and this was just a start for me just to, just to give me a base now the palm of the foot you could have left it just like that but I just decided to widen my the palm area out a little bit more and just flared the base of the circle out. I wasn't looking for perfect. I just felt like it needed to, to do that. So once that was dry, I took out my ruler stencil. This is going to be a growth chart and I'm using Citron by Wise Owl and a dabber, just a little tip, taking a long paintbrush handle and holding your stencil down so you don't get any movement helps. So I just went up the board with that. I believe the ruler stencil is in our Amazon store. If anybody needs it, just remind me and I'll post a link. And these are just numbers that we got at Michael's. And I'm starting with the number two. Remember, all these uh, paints and brushes can be found at chocolateatfancy.com. I'm filling in my stencils with an art brush. I 
and then I'm going to fill in the three and the four. Once this was all dry, I took my Wise Owl One Hour Enamel and another Gen foam brush and applied it to my entire board. Once this was dry, I found these heads at Target. They were $3, they're so cute. They had a panda, a lion, a giraffe, and a zebra. They all fit this size board quite well, except for the giraffe. The giraffe was a little too thin, but here they were $3 at Target. They were in that beginning section, that dollar section. I started by taking the hardware off of the panda face in the future, I plan on doing the zebra, so stay tuned for that. And using some Elmer's wood glue. And this is my glue bot. That's also in our Amazon store. <clears throat> it's a great tool for keeping your keeping your glue, and it it's, makes it so much easier to use if you have a messy glue bottle like I used to have. And then I just glued that to the top, and now you have this cute growth chart uh, for a child in their room. It's a great nursery gift as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can also watch on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you for watching.